Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Not that I really have much to show for on my YouTube channel, but I want to start making more videos this year. Um, a lot of you guys, over a thousand of you guys said you guys would rather watch vlogs and read vlogs, so that's fine. I'm here for it. It's something new for me, but I'm willing to adapt and continue growing with what you guys want. So a little bit about this video. I guess let's just kind of talk about life. Oh, I still have my name. <laughs> I, you guys, as you guys may know, I am a Christian. And so I go to a church in Costa Mesa called Rock Harbor. And it's been my church for the last two years. And it has substantially helped me grow in my faith. They put out a lot of courses and one of their other programs or series that they're doing is called Kingdom Culture and that's what I'm doing. It's for people who I guess have been in faith for a little bit and want to live a life more radical based off of living out God's kingdom and God's culture like a Jesus culture movement kind of thing. So recently I don't know if it has anything to do with pre-period but I've just kind of been in this weird funk where I'll even tell my um, Katie, she's like my like intern assistant slash friend, little sister, whatever you want to call her. Um, I just haven't really been happy with my content and kind of what I'm putting out there. And I go through these phases every single time because I get so caught up in my routine of pushing out fashion content that I forget I need to do more of what I told myself I would do this year, which is putting out real life content. So this is a start. But um, today, especially, actually, I just, on my pre-period, I get extremely lethargic. I'm so tired. I don't feel like doing anything. I'm literally laying on the couch with my eyes going like this. And I just had, it was just one of those days. It was a bad day. And I don't really know why it was bad. I was just emotionally everywhere. Um, I'm sure it's my hormones, but it was just one of those days. I felt crappy about myself. I didn't feel I had any value. I was just getting angry really easily, ticked off about random stuff for no reason at all. And I almost didn't want to go to Kingdom Culture tonight. I was in that bad of a funk. But I said, you know what, like I'm, I signed up for this, so I'm gonna go. And when I went, I, it just, God has a way of reviving you and kind of just putting peace on your heart. I walked away tonight, my attitude completely different. It was, it took a whole 180 turn in just a matter of even the first 20 minutes I was there. I just felt selfless and I realized within the first few minutes of being there that my attitude and how I was feeling today was a very selfish act. Um, even though it wasn't something I could control but everything was based about how I feel and why me and self-pity and self-doubt and all this stuff and it's just it's a selfish act so when we broke we we are all grouped into tables and we have like one group and it's a seven week series so we stay with this group for seven weeks and we were just going around sharing different things and just hearing people talk made me feel better because and more selfless and typically I'm one to engage a lot in the conversation and you know give out my input whatever but I found myself not really giving too many answers and just listening to people I loved it because I in a way felt selfless because no attention was on me and you know blogging can be a very I don't want to say selfish act because that's not what blogging is because the influencing is a two-way street, you know? I think because everything, my daily routine, everything is kind of based around like what I do, what I need to put out, you know? In a sense, it could be a very selfish occupation. I hope no one is taking that in the wrong way because I know it's that's not how what I'm trying to say. I'm not saying like it's like oh it's a selfish, you know, occupation, don't do it because I love what I do. But I hope you guys catch my drift. I just this is all very raw. I don't really know what I'm trying to articulate right now, but just stay with me. <sighs> I guess in a way when you get so wrapped up in 
your numbers and what content you're doing and what other people are doing and what you're not doing, like that in itself becomes a selfish act. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. Regardless, when you don't talk and you listen, you learn more. You become more gentle, you become more understanding, you become more compassionate because what people say can really add value to your life. They, what people say can help you realize things that you may not have realized before and kind of it's the eye opener, it's that light bulb that goes off and you're like, wow, you know, and all of that is with purpose. You were put there to hear that remark for a purpose. Just seeing people's different views and how they all view God and why we're all here, what's the purpose of kingdom culture, it was it was so refreshing to just see everyone's point of views and perspectives. And that was already helping change my attitude um, completely. I was not in that whole PMS, like pissy mood anymore. And just being in this small group, I haven't done this in so long. I think college was the last time I was kind of in a small group, but I wasn't even really into it as much. Um, so I'm, I'm doing this for me, making myself accountable to it. So I think just being around these people, you know, iron and sharpening iron, you're helping each other be better and you're picking up on little things that people are saying. Other people are sharing their experiences that may be helping you and they don't even know that they're helping you. They're just telling your story, but stories are so strong and they can provide so much value. I have a very hard time with compassion. I don't wanna blame it on being the only child, but I think it has a lot to do with it because growing up, I had no siblings. My parents worked super late, so I literally did everything by myself. I didn't have many cousins that lived in California. I was the youngest one. Everyone was a lot older. They all lived in the Midwest. So I really had no sense of family. Everything was just on my time, when I did it, how I did it, because there's literally no one else to consider. This past Sunday, I was just praying. They did an altar call with, you know, just people who were carrying a lot of anxiety, depression, and hurt and stuff. And a lot of people went to the front and I was praying that, hey, you know, help soften my heart. Um, help me not be so hard when it comes to things and harsh when it comes to people. I don't know if it, it might be an Asian thing too. I mean, Asian parents are a lot more harsh on their kids, kind of, and they just expect you to do things and know things. So maybe that's also why I am the way I am. But during the altar call, I, there's altar calls all the time. And I was watching these people and everyone was just on their knees. They were sobbing, they were sobbing. And for the first time in my life, I felt, their pain because it, it was just so weird. I like saw people differently. I was like, oh my gosh, you know, everyone is going through something so hard. And when you're so worried about yourself, you don't really care about what people are going through. You you know, you think, oh, I, I've never gone through that or whatever. So like, it's cool. Like, oh yeah, that kind of sucks, but it doesn't pertain to me. So, you know, but I didn't even know what these people were going through. I was just watching them and my heart hurt and I was, just crying, crying and crying and crying for these people. And it was the first time that I, I think I finally understood what compassion was. It was great because I felt so selfless in that moment and I just wanted to help everyone and I didn't even care the state I was in or what I was going through. I just wanted to be there for those people. And not that I love seeing people cry in church, but I do at the same time because you just see how powerful God is and what he can do in that instant of just touching someone's life. That supernova kind of feeling. I've had it once before and I can't even bring into words or explain how it felt. It's just an out of body feeling. But anyways, that's besides the point. But back to me being compassionate, it's just, it's a, a department I've always needed help in and I've known this for many years, but it's, it's just, it's so hard. You know, I've been in this routine for, 27 years and it's definitely a weakness of mine but again being in this group you hear people's stories it just makes you I don't I don't want to keep saying selfless but I kept, I kept feeling selfless it was so great it was absolutely what I needed and I left so I left smiling I felt light and looking back just three hours ago why was I acting that way really it's just, it's just, I don't know. I, uh, 
This is probably a really weird and bad first YouTube video, but it is what it is. I'm gonna try and keep it raw with y'all. Um, but yeah, I want to continue sharing with you guys what I'm learning in this seven week course. Again, it's called Kingdom Culture. I joined it because I used to be super, super involved with all the other churches that I went to. And in the first church I was, my parents were super involved. So when I was born, everyone kind of already knew who I was. So I always had a microscope on me. And then the second church, um, I played piano and the drums for the worship team. It was a lot smaller. Again, my parents were extremely involved and so I've always had that sense of community with church and I didn't have that with Rock Harbor one because Costa Mesa is pretty far. It is a far drive for me. So it's hard for me to do small groups and go to all these events all the time. I just really wanted to be plugged in in some way. I just wanted to continue to dig deeper. I think your walk with God should never be something that is stacked in that you're just like, comfortable with. I think there's always more to achieve, more to learn, more to feel, more to grow in. And that's just what I wanted. I'm such an advocate for self growth and personal growth. And I think it's so important to people's lives. And I just, I love learning and find like finding ways to improve me to be how I should and how to make my faith stronger and how to be more fearless in my walk and and to share it more so that I can help you guys not be so scared or timid about sharing it too you know um because it's our lifestyle so why be scared but it is a scary thing because you are in such a vulnerable state and Christianity now is it's not the religion that oh everyone does it and it's chill you can talk about it now it's almost like we get you know, verbally persecuted for it in a sense. And there is a lot of opposition towards it. So I just wanted to continue to sharpen my tools to help continue being fearless and share my platform and use my platform for good, not just for clothing, because this is what I wear 90% of the time. Like I literally hate clothes this week. It's driving me crazy. And I don't want it to be the only thing that I provide to you guys. So anyways, if you made it this far, thank you. I, again, I'm trying to figure out and fine tune where I want this YouTube channel to go, but I hope you guys tune in. I'm gonna try and punch out a couple videos a month, a few videos a month. Um, and yeah, I love you guys and thanks for watching. Oh, I didn't even blow. I, I kissed and then I just presented it, but whatever, it's cool.